two years after we commenced with fabrication, key components and systems are arriving from sites around the world. The installation of a 6,000 pound beam is a, is a challenging operation. So uh, we're currently standing on Iron Lady and from here we drove the beam onto the, the Pioneering Spirit. Engineers and crew on board Pioneering Spirit are working around the clock to install the main beams and commission integrated subsystems to reach the next major milestone, upending the 170 meter long beams for the first time. night turns to day, the team on board Pioneering Spirit is doing the final checks before the beams are upended for the first time. We are good to go. Today is an exciting day. We're finally upending the beams synchronously for the first time. So it's a, it's a big moment. Mike, Slava, you're in position. Today we are upending uh, both jacket lift system beams to 109 degrees for the first time. It's really uh, nice to get up close with the systems that you've seen on drawings for uh, quite some time. It all becomes reality now. It's nice to work with the people on board to uh, bring the system to life. There are three main systems that are used for upending the beam. The first one is easy, it's the water ballast system. It's just pumping water into the tails to ensure that we have sufficient weight under the hinge. Secondly, we have the Daracoy system. It's uh, four Daracoy winches per beam, which ensure that we have sufficient tension on the top side of the beam. So basically, they're pulling the beam downwards. And then we have the up-end system. The up-end system is used for uh, pushing out the beam. So it's a balance of forces, which we have to uh, maintain uh, throughout the up-ending. Okay, we will start. Uh... Guys, go ahead. During upending, we also control and monitor other systems. So we have uh, 12 main noise winches, uh, six block connection system winches, uh, we have uh, driven sheaves, and those have to also be controlled during upending. So they are not actively used for upending, but they need to move along as well. The main challenge during the upending is the synchronized motion that we need from the many systems that are connected to the beams, which need to work together to create the up-end motion that you see. Upending of the beams went very well. You we upended the beams synchronously within all margins and uh, yeah, all the loads were controlled very well. So I'm very happy that we managed to uh, pull this off. The next step is uh, load testing the system. So we will uh, load test the system up to the design capacity of 20,000 tons. Uh, in order to do so, we will load each beam up to 11,000 tons and each main hoist block up to 5,500 tons. The load test will show that uh, the system can operate at these uh, extreme loads that will occur during the installation and removal of jackets. In the final episode, engineers and crew on board Pioneering Spirit perform commissioning load tests ahead of the moment of truth, the first offshore lift with the new revolutionary jacket lift system. So the next milestone is also the biggest milestone of the jacket lift system project. We will head out to the North Sea to remove a jacket for the first time. 